Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. It's time for this week in real estate with Bob Zadora, Century 21 Lee Mac Realty here in Mountain Home. Yep. 870-405-0793 is the number. RetiredArkansas.net is the website. Mr. Zador, how are you? I'm great, sir. You've been traveling a bit. Well, I have, I have. We were at the Arkansas Realtors Convention, and uh, we spent uh, two days going to different classes, going to uh, catching up with some old friends we haven't seen. It was out for a couple of years with COVID, obviously, and they had uh, we got caught up, and it was good. It was now, good. this wasn't a Century 21. It was a No, this is a, a statewide. Realtor. This is a Realtor, realtor Convention. Yes, yeah. yeah. So there was probably a lot of folks there. There were. There were there were over 400 attendees, uh, a lot of first-time attendees, you know, because the realtor market picked up as the housing market picked up. More people got their licenses and uh, joined in. And it's, uh, it was a good time. So as the meeting went on, and the, was it a couple of days' worth of stuff? A couple of days. That, yeah, we, were, we got there uh, Monday, and we, uh, it ended on Wednesday with a chat from the Real Estate Commission, and uh, Jonesboro was very hospitable. It was the first time they had ever had one. I was kind of surprised to hear that for all the, that they've had. It was the first time they'd been to Jonesboro. Uh, we got to see the venue, the stadium, where the Red Wolves play. The new renovations. And Yeah, it was very nice, very nice. Got to meet Howell. No. How was he doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, food was all good. The people there were very friendly. I, I found it to be very similar to here. Uh, bigger, obviously, and there's a lot more going on in Jonesboro mm -hmm. than there is here. But uh, everyone was very courteous. Where are you from? You know, you have a good time. With the meeting with all those people in, in attendance, what was the what was the pulse of the market for Arkansas? Well, there. I mean, things are going to slow down, uh, and a lot of the state is based as we are here. You know, people coming here from other places. There's mm -hmm. only so many. We don't. What do we have? Three million people in the whole state. That's really not a lot. We, uh, people coming here from other places and being trying to get away from where they are, get away from taxes, uh, t property taxes, income taxes, and stupidity. things like that. Stupidity. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's part of it. Uh, and to have them be able to come here and start anew. That's great, you know, and we, and I know uh, the chamber talked yesterday about it, about having, uh, about people coming here and getting a fresh start and how it used to be really a retirement community, but it's, we're much more diverse than that now. Mm -hmm. You know, you're seeing 30, 40 year olds, 50 year olds who aren't ready to retire. They're just carrying on with their lives. They were able to bring their career with them and, um, Add to the community. That's the, that's the, really the best part. There's there's a lot of talent that has come here over the past couple of years that uh, we may not have been able to avail ourselves of before. On the day to day, do you still see people coming to the area that work from home? Yes. Yeah. The high speed internet's still a big deal. That's one of the first things that we talk about uh, with people when they're when they're coming down. Can I do this? Can I do that? And there's a lot of options. You know, you get next and whatever uh, other things are available. Some aren't as fast as others, and that's what they want to know. So we look for uh, the best way to tell them if they're going to have be able to get that, get, to be able to get next, obviously look for the NAC, for the uh, utilities. Mm -hmm. And I tell them if it's not there now, it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah, the other goal is to be everyone. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's look at our numbers real quick. And sure. We'll come back and visit we can do that. This week in real estate, there were 40 new listings came on the market, four commercial properties, four parcels of land, uh, 32 homes came on the market. They ranged in price from 44000 to 799000 Four of those are taking backups. Uh, the average sale, average price coming on the market this week is $235,000. There were 49 sales, one commercial property, 11 parcels of land, 37 homes sold, they ranged in price from $35,000 to $526,000. Average sale price this week was two twenty-eight, dollars with 61 days on market. A total of $8.4 million in residential real estate closed this past week. 13 properties expired. 16 had price changes. Uh, currently, there's 234 homes on the MLS. So with all of that that I said, we're still at the same number of homes on the MLS. Uh, for year-to-date comparisons, this year, there's been 855 homes have sold for $186 million, 
Average sale price of $218,000 with 81 days on market. Last year, there had been 904 homes that sold for $177 million. Uh, the average sale price last year was one ninety five dollars with 89 days on market. So the market is, homes have gone up, they plateaued, and we're starting to see them pitch back down. You're starting to see the more and more price reductions in. Uh, we put two price reductions in last week, and we put them both on a contract. So people are, they know. I mean, you know, this isn't a big secret that the real estate market is starting to pitch down. Mm -hmm. And they know that they're not getting as much for their home as they had hoped to when they sell it to come here. That's where we're running into uh, issues. So the driving factor is not necessarily uh, the value of the home here, but it's the, what they're able to sell where right. they're at currently. Right. And if they're still, I mean, we're still a much better value here, <clears throat> even as the market, if it continues to fall a little bit more, it, we're still a much better value and bang for the buck. Mm -hmm. But they, they're disappointed that they didn't get what they thought they were going to get when they left Cleveland, Dallas, Denver, whatever mm -hmm. it may have been. Uh, so th that affects things somewhat. Uh, some, but there's still people, you know, just coming in, dropping cash, and saying thank you, taking their investments that they see tanking, um, and say, I'll, I'll rather, I'll live in my investment. There you go. And be happier than I will be just watching it every week <laughs> when I check it to see that it's, you know, catered another two, two percent. Yeah, when a stock market loses a thousand points in a day, and you yeah. go, "Yeah, wait a minute, there's why nothing am I, you can do? Why am I, I still mean, leaving money there?" Right, and there's nothing you can do because the big guns have, have sucked all that up, and it's too hard for you to get your your sell order in there because mm -hmm. nobody's buying two hundred of this or five hundred of that. It's frustrating. Mm -hmm. the The market itself here in our local MLS area for folks that may be new to watching the uh, this week in real mm -hmm. estate. What is our MLS area for Mountain Home, for the local? We're, our, is it, we're, we're the, is North, it North Central we're the North Central Board of Realtors. Uh, we cover Baxter. We cover Marion. We cover part of Searcy, part of uh, Indus. Partly we go up into southern Missouri. Uh, Linda's licensed in Missouri. Darlene's licensed in Missouri. Uh, we got a call from a woman the other day, actually, who sees us. And uh, Linda's going up there early next week. And um, it, we've just done very well, you know, within the sound of the old, with the, if you're within the sound of my voice, and this is, you guys get good coverage. And especially with Next and picking that up on the, on the cable, mm -hmm. that makes a big difference. And people want to know what's going on locally, you know, because when you watch the national news all the time, it's boom, 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 boom. Whereas here, you guys are funny, you're light. That's what we want. Don't tell him he's funny. Yeah, well, <laughs> I already know that. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any we, trends that you're seeing in the, in our local market that we could talk about? Um, ups, downs. It's just yeah. It's we've uh, we've stable up. Like I said, we've plateaued and we're starting to. I think we're we're going to tip down some. I mean, we reached the the past of unreasonable expectations for what you're going to get for the house, and now you're going to find a bunch of people start to come on the market. It's like where were you a year ago? You yeah, know, when, you know, it's 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 and, and that's just kind of human nature, you know. The market crashes, I, I better sell my stocks. You know, this happens, I, I better do that. Well, if you're behind it, just sit there, sit still, let it settle down a little bit. It's gonna get, it'll get better again. Mm -hmm. it may take a little while. There's no telling. These guys in Washington really scare me sometimes, but those are the kind of things that's just life, you know. And you got to kind of roll with that sometimes. When you say 81 days on market for the average this year, yeah. 61 days on market this week, is that from the time the sign goes in the front yard till the time that sign leaves? Yep, that's from the time that the uh, the house they signed the contract until the time the contract is closed out. So the so. the closing agents are are able to speed things up quite yeah, a bit they've, from they've what done, they were last year. They've done well from where they were. Uh, the number of Refis and stuff has slowed down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, there's some people that are doing it to pay off credit cards and things 
because the rate's going up on those as fast as they are, but not the volume that we're doing, where they, where they were trying to get their interest rate from 5% <coughs> down into the threes when they had the opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, I know my phone is coming off the wall. The outfit that's got my mortgage right now, you know, you should take that equity you've got in your house and you should, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm fine, thank you. I bet I I'm at a very comfortable a rate. <laughs> I'm at a very comfortable rate right now and I, you know, yeah. it's gonna stay that way. Yeah, but I get five calls a day on that. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever thought about it? Yeah, I thought about it five minutes ago. <laughs> when the other the guy called still me. No. <laughs> from your company. Yeah, from your company. From the company I'm already with. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah they're the ones who want you to refi. Sure. Because they're like, wait, we're losing money here. What about um, demographics on who's moving here? Uh, coming from which states? What age group? You know, we get kind of a, look like? we get a real nice divergence of people coming from, we get them, you know, from Colorado. Uh, Utah, Wyoming, Arizona, California, Florida, Louisiana. There is, you know, it used to be, you know, the big Chicago deal, and it was that's over. Um, most of them can't sell or they're, they're stuck there and they can't get out. They've worked so long at their job that they don't have enough time to quit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you get a little, the, the, the logistics of that are a little different than, uh, than what we have here. So, People coming from Colorado and a few from Oregon, um, Nevada, Wyoming, they're all trying to get away from the Californications of their states. People that are moving from California and bringing California with them mm -hmm. into these states. Mm -hmm. And they're like, no, this is not what we're from. Um, we're very similar to Colorado. Obviously, we don't have mountains, I know that. But otherwise, the topography, the rivers, the lakes are very similar, and it's very familiar to a lot of people when they come here. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that's a good thing, and because it makes them comfortable right away. They can go out, they can fish, they can hunt, they can walk, they can do all the things that they were used to doing at what used to be home. That's, that makes a big difference for people. Um, Age-wise, Bob, there, there's a little bit of everything. I mean, there's not, uh, you know, we don't get a lot of 25 year olds moving in, yeah. but they're staying. That's really the difference. Before, the big thing was they would leave. Mm -hmm. Now, they have opportunities here to stay, and that's a great deal. What is the hottest entity when people come to see you about looking at homes and farmland or whatever? What's their biggest concern when they get here? Does Mountain Home have this? What is this? Healthcare is a big thing. Uh, and that's just, you know, natural survival. You know, how good is the healthcare here? And I tell them, look, the, the term magnet hospital means nothing to me, and it doesn't mean anything to most people. So yeah, I, I, right. I know that it's a very good thing. I know that they've won a number of awards. And you know, aside from some malcontents on Facebook, Everybody loves the hospital and the doctors that we have here. Uh, and if they can't do it here, there's you, within striking distance to get you someplace who can get you some help that they can't do, which isn't right. very much, but it's there. Uh, we're in, in being centrally located like we are makes a big difference for that. There, and that has a lot to do with it. And then taxes are probably number two. Um, seeing the property taxes and what, what they are compared to what they're used to paying is kind of like whoa and then they see our gas prices they come from if you come from most any if you're coming from a state yeah. that's of any distance away coming from illinois or wisconsin anything like that and you come and you see our gas prices like what is that a liter instead of a, yeah. you know, instead of a <laughs> gas, you know, where they change the they change the machines on here or what uh that's the economics of things and that's one of the main reasons why they're leaving where they're leaving is the economics of things you know, it's so expensive to live in some of these places. In safety. In safety. safety. How do we get you? Call my honey. She's at 870-405-0793. The website's retiredtoarkansas.net. Uh, we've got all the MLSs on there. A uh, bunch of all the things to do around here are on that website. Um, just give her a call. She's the one who spins the plates. If you call me, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to have her call you back because I don't know. She does. She keeps the book. Well, she does. Because I'll tell somebody, oh, yeah, we'll be there Tuesday. And she'll go, her, what? Oh, what do you can't tell people that? What <laughs> Tuesday are you yeah, talking exactly. about? Exactly. So to avoid a lot of embarrassment, I say, call my honey. 
There you and go. That's the best thing to do. 870-405-0793. That's been This Week in Real Estate with Bob Zadora, Century 21 Lee Mac Realty here in Mountain Home. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back with Friday Sports in just a moment.